As we move through the wilderness, covered with trees, leaves, dirt, mud, grass, and weeds, something wild sits. But wait, these magnificent parts of life come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. What could it be? My sources say it's flowers. There is a ver- pretty wide variety of color um, within, largely in the prairies around Redwood Forest. Um, and the colors you'd find would be whites, yellows, oranges, pinks, and purples. Tiger Lily's petals are mostly a bright orange color with red and purple specks inside to attract pollinators. If you look at tiger lilies, they have little spots on them. Um, and of course, tigers are striped and leopards are spotted. So maybe they should rename it to the leopard lily instead. Daisies. Their petals have rounded ends. These beautiful parts of life contain a bright yellow center and pure white petals. Petals serve all kinds of purposes, but most uniquely, and I think this is a cool part of them, it's a place for insects to come in and grab on so that they can pollinize um, or pollinate uh, each, each flower as they come in. Tasty, delicious, mouth-watering. What could these words possibly describe? Blackberries, the magical fruit that comes from the white pink shaded blossoms. The berry is very much used in our daily foods, also as food for birds, insects, bears, and more. Have we made you hungry yet? These three varieties of flowers all have similarities and differences. They all have beauty and have their own way of decorating their environment. Some differences are that the blackberry is found almost everywhere and can turn into a berry, whereas the other two flowers do not. Though these flowers are all a part of our life, there are still many other flowers that are great influences as well. Think of this. The next time you walk through the forest, what do you think you will find?